Hey guys, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I am very excited to open this front door fashion box with you. When I swing back way three, almost four years ago when I started unboxing on this channel, Front Door Fashion is the original clothing subscription box that I fell head over heels for. And I did Stitch Fix and I did Trunk Club and I did several of those, but this was the box that I was just in love with and I ordered them from several years. And then I have to admit, I had a very large walk-in closet that was bursting at the seams. So I paused all of my clothing subscriptions to kind of give myself a chance to move and get organized. And now it's been a year, my closet is not bursting enough. So I got another box and so I'm opening it with you guys. I am, I, I went online, redid all of my profile, all of my style, everything. So I'm excited to see what is inside here. So you always get one of these giant boxes with this guy on top. I'm gonna break down this as well as the items inside. But I wanna say before I start, if you guys have watched my video, if you are interested in seeing more of this video, if you at all just are feeling generous, give this video a thumbs up. Just a simple click of that like is a world changer for both me and the brand I am working with. Um, so in this case, front door fashion. So stop real quick, give us a thumbs up. Okay, inside here is the thanks for letting us style you card. Anything you want to return, you put back in this box, you seal using these, and you put this on and you're done. There is zero work to returning items. If you need to make exchanges, you can complete what you need here. This is recommendations on shoes and pairings for your outfits. And then this is a personalized note from my stylist where she says, thank you for having me style this box. We're going into more warm weather looks. I drew inspiration from your Instagram and Pinterest board, which I spend a lot of time on curating my Pinterest board for these girls. Um, she said, I can't wait to see what you think. So, and then this is everything that's inside. You'll like see more whenever I dive in here, but they're grouped by outfits. So you know your price per outfit, what's in the outfit, and it has notes on how to style and dress the outfit. So they not only are sending you clothes based on your style profile, they're telling you what to do with them and how to use them, how to mix and match, what shoes to pair, etc. All right, let's just scoop this guy over here. Let's see if I can get him to close. then this is what you get inside. <laughs> it's really heavy. So there we go. I'm gonna move this over because I wanna read about the outfits as we go through. Voila. Ooh, I love the colors. We're moving into fall, so I do want some fall transitional pieces, but you guys, it is still 105 degrees here in Texas and will be for another month, month and a half. So real fall clothes and maybe even real fall transitional clothes aren't really an option. So that is what I told my stylist that it's very important I have clothes I can actually really wear because it won't get cold like winter, fall cold until December, January here. Just the way it goes. So here we go. Here's everything I got inside. So first I have this gorgeous floral dress. I'm going to tell you, just looking at it, I absolutely love it already. It's by BCBG Jen, and I don't do a lot of jewelry, and I wrote that on there, but I told her if she had some really cool pieces that I would be interested in seeing them. In particular, um, bracelets for my skinny wrist. Oh, these are earrings. Okay. Oh, they're, they're really cute. Okay. So who wants to see me in this? I love this dress. This is by BCBG Generation. It's $128 and I love it. Like I could wear this to church or I could go to dinner. It's very comfortable. Hubby gave it a thumbs up. I think it's a win. 
I will say these are very cute and I like them. They feel exactly like um, plastic. I mean, not like Kendra Scott plastic, but like Gap, like Gap plastic. And they're $77. So th these are for sure got to go. I can't, I don't understand. Maybe there's, it's a name brand I'm unaware of or, or a material I'm unaware of that's cool. But that's a no-go. But 128 for this is a no-brainer for me. And this is definitely a keep. This next dress is so cute too. And I did tell them I need some dresses and I, so far they're nailing it. I absolutely love this. It's by Allie and Jay and it is 148. I think this is super cute and I'm super excited to try it on. So let's go see how the actual fit is. I love it. This is by Allie and Jay. And it's $148 to me, well worth it. I actually am not sure if I should wear it like this or if I should leave it unbuttoned. I don't know. I'll have to get in the mirror because I might put on a big necklace. But here is this guy. Let me show you the back. It is quite sheer. I might add another layer of uh, slip underneath it, but I love it. It's very different from so many other pieces I have in my wardrobe. So big thumbs up okay our next dress upon first sight I was questioning it but now that I've looked at it for a little bit I think I like it greens look good on me as a redhead and I like stripes I don't know I don't know what I is giving me hesitancy it's by sanctuary and it's only $89 I don't know let's just try it on and see how it fits So I've gone back and forth on this one. When I initially put it on, I was like, ugh, I don't like it. Then I retied the belt and was like, I don't know. Had my husband vote and he absolutely loved it. So I don't know. This one I'm gonna put a question mark on. It is $89 by Sanctuary. If you guys will comment if I should, yes, keep the green striped dress or no, don't keep it. It's very comfy, very chill. I don't know, maybe the t-shirt fits throwing me. So y'all tell me what you think. Okay, so that wraps my outfit one, which was called Dresses for All Days, and where she focused on the three dresses and the earrings that went with the, any of those dresses. Um, what I will do is I, I go through here, and there's a little box that I check right here that says keep. If I don't wanna keep it, I don't check the box, I fold it up and I put it back in there. Outfit two is cute and casual, and it has a necklace, shorts, and a couple of tops. Let's check them out. This is cute. I feel like the top's a little old ladyish. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna put it on, it's gonna be my favorite one. I don't know, it looks cute, but it looks like it's for somebody maybe in their 40s or 50s or someone who's trying to hide their arms or hide and likes a very oversized look. I could be eating my words in a little bit, we'll see. I always try everything on, which is the beauty of subscription boxes. I get to try it all on in my house with my own mirrors and my own lighting and it's wonderful. Inside is, look at this, this is, little hanger's getting fresh. This necklace is super cute. I don't know who it's bought. Oh, Hope. Hope necklace. $34. It's super cute. I don't own anything like that, and I do love gold. And then underneath this top are the bottoms that are recommended. I will try them on, and we'll see. But they're by Parker Smith. They're $148. And the top is by Jade, and it's $80. Yeah, see, I, mean, I feel like I'm hating on this top, but this doesn't look like an $80 top to me. This looks like a $30 top. <laughs> but we'll see. Let's go try on the shirt, the necklace, and the shorts. My assessment was very accurate. Look at these. Very <laughs> So 
here are the shorts. I'm not sure how they missed the mark this much, but um, there's that, and here's this. Uh, this is not my style at all, and obviously everything is super huge. So we don't even have to cover pricing or anything, because everything is going back on this particular look. <sighs> okay, here is a second top for our collection called Cute and Casual. I do think this is super cute. This is super fiesta appropriate. Hey, San Antonio. This is by J. Marie, and it's $70. So we'll try it on and see. You ready? Here's the second top. I went ahead and changed the shorts because I could not get a grasp for how the top would fit with those ridiculous shorts. So this is just a pair of my just black shorts for my house. But here is the top. It's by J. Marie. Where's that price tag at? It's $70. I love the casual fit of it. I can't get this to not lay down like that. So I think I will get an iron and see if I can get it to lay more where you can see the pattern. If I can get it to lay better, because um, it might be just like this from being folded in a box, um, then I might keep this because I think this would be super cute for Fiesta. It's really great here in San Antonio and it's light and comfy and cute. So, to be determined on how this guy cooperates. Now for look number three. Look three is beautiful business casual. It has a top, trousers, a jacket, and another top. So, let's see here. This is the first item we're pulling. I do love this little jacket. It's super cute. Let's pull that guy off first. It's very lightweight, which I can appreciate because, I mean, this is actually winter wear for <laughs> San Antonio, Texas. It's only 119. It's by Sanctuary. Love this blue. This is definitely one of my colors. And then this top is very unique. I actually like it a whole, whole lot. Slide it off here. It zips in the back, which is gives it a little bit of cute detail if I want to wear my hair up. It's by Drew, and it's 156. That's a little expensive for a top like this. But it's really cute, so I may splurge. And then these pants are Liverpool. Oh, huh, they're only 89 bucks. And it's a white, it's, it's a dressier denim. It's like a pant, I don't even know, I'm calling it denim. I don't know that it is denim. Does it say in here? There we go. Cotton, cotton and spandex. Yeah, that's why they feel so nice. Um, I have a ton of pants. I think I own like 60 pair of jeans, but they're all true denim. So I'm loving that this is a dressier pant. I love this a lot, in fact. So this, this, and this. Let's go try it on. So first impression, I love the colors. I love the flow of colors. It's very neat. This is three. I've got three items on and it's all super light. I love, love, love being able to layer because I don't get to do it very often. Love this duster. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it with some blue jeans that are in my closet because I don't love this look, but I want to love this piece a whole lot. Let's see, I don't remember how much it is. And I love Sanctuary as a brand. I think they do a great job, look up. 119, so we'll see. I'm gonna think on that. This is the top that is 156, although cute, I just won't spend 156 on a top like this. And I wanted to love these pants so much. Really, really wanted these to work out, and I think they're great, but they're $89, and they're quite, I mean, you can see, they're quite a bit too big. They remind me of my mom's pants back in the day, how she used to wear them. And I could have them taken in, but it, it just seems like it's too much. So I am very sad to send these back. Okay, let's check out the last top in outfit number three. It's by Harshman. It's 100% cotton. Ooh, it's 175. Um, cute. It just kind of looks like a black top. So I'm not sure if I'm tracking with that $175 price tag, 
But um, I do think this black top with the white pants will look cute. Let's go try it on. So in theory, this was spot on. The color, the textures of the two materials, love. Except for this top's $158 and I just don't think I can justify it. I might have been able to if this outfit would have just been spot on perfect, but with the pants being too big, um, this is laying a little funny for me. I probably could press it into place. I'm gonna pass, but I do have to say, it's cute. It was, it was a good effort. Let's check out outfit four. Outfit four has a top, a short, a cami, and a vest, and it's called Pretty and Printed. So here's this guy. So we got a cupcake in cashmere. What are they calling this? I think it's just a vest. It's just a long vest on top. I do think this is really cute. It's like a it's creamy blush in color. It's very pretty. 138, very reasonable in my opinion for this type of item. And then we've got a top here. It's by Amanda Upprichard, $158. So, to confession, oh, look what I'm wearing right now. I own about 50 tops just like this, and I have never paid over $30. So, I'm sure her brand's amazing. They're, in my opinion, this is a gross evaluation. Very cute, though. I love the button details, and I mean, I may splurge for it if it fits amazing because I'm addicted to tops like these. Hence exactly what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> and these shorts, once again, look ginormously huge, like way big, but I will try them on <laughs> and let you guys know. DL1961, um, $129, the Carly Boyfriend short. So I don't know. So this, this, and this. Let's go try them on. So the, this vest is very different for me. I don't own anything like it. And I wanted to love it. Like I was all the way down for loving it. But I, I don't love it. Or at least I don't love it in this setting. I, I, I don't know. And then, um, so this guy aside, which I think, let's see, $138, totally worth it. Super cute, great material, totally worth it. On the flip side, there is this top. This top is $158. I can't, like I have pulled this lining down so many times and after moving, just walk, oh, just did it again. The lining keeps rolling out. Um, I have my hubby come adjust the straps. They're almost impossible to adjust. One of them I can't, we just stopped because we were scared we were gonna break it. So this in no way, shape or form, in my opinion, is worth more than $25, $30. So sorry on this. And then these guys are uh, ginormo. <laughs> so yeah, this look doesn't love me as much as I wanted to love it. Okay, the last top for the pretty and printed outfit, which is number four. I don't know if this brand is pronounced Joy or Joey, J-O-I-E. So if y'all can comment below, and like put the enunciation. I do this every single time I run into this brand. Um, $198, very cute. I mean, we'll see through for a $200 top. I feel like I have such practical mom thinking now. But yeah, let's try it on. I think it's very cute. I just don't know if I can justify it $200 worth. And it looks like it might swallow me whole. I mean, let's go see. So I went ahead and put my shorts on because the pair that were supposed to go with this were way too big. And as I was walking over, they kept falling down. So this is this their top. This top is $198. I definitely don't love it $198 worth. And I'm actually trying to decide if it's even really my style. I do think it's really pretty. The color's pretty. But I just don't know if it's me. 
Okay, last but not least is outfit number five. It is titled Fun and Floral, and it has a necklace, a tee, a top, and some jeans. Here we go. Very cute. Like this top is like a dream top for me. Most of the time this color washes me out really, really bad. It makes me look jaundicey, which is super sad because I'm so attracted to tops like this. But I will give it a try. I always give them a try because I'm always so desperate that they may actually just work one time. Back in the day when I used to tan, I could pull it off a little bit better. It's by the brand Socialite and has a retail value of 108. I was expecting way more. So a $100 price tag on this uh, is low, or low from what I was expecting. Very cute. And then there is a jewelry item here. I just love how they group this for moms. Our brains are so busy. It just makes it so nice, simple, straightforward. This is cute. Kind of cheapy feeling, but cute. The Sydney necklace, $55. The, the, this part is great. This part is super cheapy. And maybe because I have the Kendra Scott version of this, I've got what the real looks like. But um, yeah, we'll see. And then it has pants inside. Liverpool, only $89. Look at the bottom of these. Can y'all see this? Super cute. I love that. Okay, I'm excited, actually super excited to try this on. So let's go. So in the style profile you will fill out with front door fashion, it asks, are you up for altering things? Do you take your clothes to alterations? I always check the box that says something like, sometimes. I don't want to do it all the time, but I don't not do it. That's where this would apply. So if this top did not wash me out, I would take it in and have one of those little snap buttons put in that would hold the chest together so that I wouldn't have to worry about my current problem of flashing everyone. I love the sleeves. I love everything about this top. Like I said, I want to love tops like this, but the color doesn't do me any favors. But I need your help. These pants. I love these pants. I want to keep these pants. They are for a fact back here. Let me lift this up. Too big. But I don't mind taking them in to have that removed. That's an alteration I can do really easily. But if I have that taken in, does the rest of the pant leg look like it fits me well? Leave a comment. Let me know if you think with the pants being taken up at the waist, if these work good. Because I think these are cute. And last but not least is a Z Supply tee. I do own a whole, whole bunch of these. They are wonderful. This one's $38, which is exactly what I pay for them. Uh, I do love the cut and color of this one. This is different, I don't own one like this. I have the white version of this, but since it doesn't have color, you can't see the texture. And so this is super cute. Um, we're gonna go try this on, and then I'm gonna come back and recap totals in the box. So let's go try this guy on. One of the things I love that Front Door Fashion does so well is the multi-outfit. So these are the same pants I was showing you earlier, just with the Z Supply top and the necklace they gave. Um, in reference to the pants, you can kind of see them better. Does it look weird here? This is why I always have hangups with my pants. Like, does that look too big? Does it look funny? Y'all tell me, because I can easily have this part taken up. And then depending on if I keep the pants, if I do, I'll definitely keep the top because I think this is a great uh, PTO, um, any kind of parent, working, cute, but functional outfit. So I'm waiting on y'all's feedback. Y'all have to tell me yes for the pants or try again later. Whew. That's quite the haul, y'all. Let's talk numbers. So there is a total of 20 items in that box with a total value of $2,226 even. Um, keep five items from this order and receive $20 perk credit to use on your next order. Then they also have their perks program um, that they've had since origin. 
If you spend 500 plus, you earn 50 bonus points. If you spend 1,000 plus, you earn 100 bonus points. Spend 2,000 plus, earn 200 bonus points. Once you're in VIP and elite member status, you earn two points for every dollar spent. So frequent shoppers who work with them really get honored and you can cash those points in for credit to go shopping with. So I'm gonna go through and check the boxes for everything that I'm keeping. If I need exchanges, I'm gonna put them here. I tear this card off and send it in because I like to keep this shoe guide. This is important to me for referencing what's in my box. And I will throw those items in here, seal it, postage it, and I'm done. It's really that simple. Um, Front Door Fashion is not a subscription service. So you're not signing up and then you have to like watch the clock and be careful on the calendar. You request boxes when you want. Um, my stylist often text message with me. So if they're in the process of like pulling my box together and they have a real quick question they need to answer for, they'll text me and I can kick back an answer, which I personally appreciate. And they did gain access. Like they asked my permission before doing that. I was like, yes, please text. Um, they're also super fast on email. Their website's super easy to use. And when I requested this box, I did it all on my cell phone to see if there was a difference and it was just as easy. Um, I have to say, over the last three, three and a half years since I've been subscribing with them, nothing has changed, which is great because they nailed it the first go around. I've always loved their clothes. Um, you can check out past reviews. It, for the good and the bad, I've always been very honest on things I liked and, dis and disliked with all of my subscriptions. But in reference to Front Door Fashion, you can peek back there and see what I've been up to. All right, guys. It, I know this was a long one. We covered a ton of clothes and a ton of outfits, and I thank you for hanging with me. Um, if you want to sign up, go below in the YouTube bio. I have links there. You can also go to my blog. Um, when you sign up, I get a referral credit, so I super appreciate it. It helps me be able to keep doing these unboxings and paying for clothes and it really is a blessing whenever I see those come through and if you can give us a thumbs up we super appreciate it leave in the comments below how to pronounce that brand name if there are other boxes that you would like to see unboxed or if you have any specific questions at front door fashion or I can get back with you all right guys I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys later bye y'all